Hey everyone, welcome back. We all want to be healthy, right? It's no secret that good nutrition is key, but sometimes it feels like navigating a jungle out there. Take care of these five nutrients and your health will thank you. That's why I'm breaking it down for you. No medical jargon, just the essential stuff you need to know. In this video, I'll tell you about the five best nutrients in the world. Those you can't miss. Those you absolutely can't ignore that cause serious harm and consequences to your health that lead to diseases if you have a deficiency. So grab a glass of water, get comfy, and let's dive into the fascinating world of these five nutrients that are absolutely vital for your well-being. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like it, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to Body Fit Flicks for more tips on health through natural remedies and body exercises. First up, let's talk protein. We all know protein is important, but why? Think of protein as the building blocks of your body. It's involved in literally everything, from building and repairing tissues, to making enzymes and hormones. Without enough protein, your body is like a construction site with not enough bricks, things just don't get built properly. Now, how much protein do you actually need? Well, that depends on a few factors like your age, activity level, and overall health. But a good rule of thumb is around 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. That means if you weigh 150 pounds, you'd aim for around 55 grams of protein per day. But hold on, what about all the talk about protein harming your kidneys? That's a common myth I hear all the time. For most healthy individuals, eating a moderate amount of protein is perfectly safe for your kidneys. In fact, there's even evidence suggesting that adequate protein intake might actually be beneficial for kidney health. So where can you get this muscle-building, energy-boosting nutrient? Well, the good news is protein is found in a wide variety of foods. Think lean meats like chicken and fish, beans and lentils, tofu, eggs, nuts, and even some dairy products like Greek yogurt. One of my favorite ways to make sure I'm getting enough protein is to start my day with a protein-rich breakfast. Think scrambled eggs with veggies, a smoothie with protein powder, or even just a bowl of Greek yogurt with some fruit and nuts. And don't forget about plant-based protein sources like beans, lentils, and tofu. They're not only packed with protein, but also fiber, which is great for your digestion and keeping you feeling full and satisfied. Remember, protein is essential for building and repairing tissues, making enzymes and hormones, and keeping your energy levels up. So make sure you're getting enough of this vital nutrient every day. Next up, let's talk about a vitamin that's crucial for energy production, brain function, and even your mood vitamin B12. This powerhouse vitamin plays a vital role in keeping your nervous system healthy, helping your body convert food into energy, and even contributing to the formation of red blood cells, which carry oxygen throughout your body. Now you might be wondering, what happens if you're not getting enough B12? Well, a deficiency in this essential vitamin can lead to a whole host of unpleasant symptoms like fatigue, weakness, pale skin, a smooth tongue, constipation, diarrhea, loss of appetite, nerve problems like numbness and tingling in your hands and feet, and even mood changes like depression and irritability. Certain groups of people are at a higher risk of developing a B12 deficiency. This includes older adults, vegans, and vegetarians who don't consume animal products, individuals with digestive disorders that affect nutrient absorption, and those who've had surgery on their stomach or small intestine. So, what are the best sources of vitamin B12? Well, it's primarily found in animal products like meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy. However, many fortified foods like breakfast cereals, plant-based milk alternatives, and nutritional yeast also contain vitamin B12. If you're concerned about your B12 levels, talk to your doctor about getting a simple blood test. They can determine if you need to supplement with a B12 pill or injection. Remember, getting enough B12 is essential for a healthy and energetic life. Chapter 3. Iron Fueling Your Body's Engine Now let's talk about a mineral that's essential for transporting oxygen throughout your body. Iron. Iron is a key component of hemoglobin a protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen from your lungs to all your tissues and organs. Without enough iron, your body can't produce enough healthy red blood cells, leading to a condition called iron deficiency anemia. So, what are the telltale signs that you might be low on iron? Well, common symptoms of anemia include fatigue, weakness, shortness of breath, pale skin, dizziness, headaches, cold hands and feet, and even brittle nails. Iron is found in a variety of foods, both heme iron from animal sources and non-heme iron from plant sources. 
Heme iron, found in red meat, poultry, and fish, is more easily absorbed by your body. Non-heme iron found in beans, lentils, spinach, tofu, and fortified cereals is absorbed less efficiently but still an important source of iron, especially for vegetarians and vegans. Here's a helpful tip. Vitamin C actually enhances the absorption of non-heme iron. So, next time you're having a lentil soup, squeeze some lemon juice on top or enjoy it with a side of bell peppers for a boost of vitamin C. If you suspect you might have an iron deficiency, it's crucial to consult with your doctor. They can perform a blood test to check your iron levels and recommend the appropriate treatment, which may involve iron supplements. Chapter 4. Vitamin C, your immune system's best friend. Let's move on to a vitamin that's well known for its immune-boosting properties, vitamin C. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is a powerful antioxidant that helps protect your cells from damage caused by free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can damage DNA and contribute to aging and diseases like cancer. But that's not all vitamin C does. It also plays a crucial role in collagen production, which is essential for healthy skin, bones, tendons, and blood vessels. Remember how we talked about iron absorption earlier? Well, vitamin C enhances the absorption of non-heme iron from plant-based foods making it a valuable nutrient for everyone, especially vegetarians and vegans. So, where can you find this immune-boosting vitamin? Citrus fruits like oranges, grapefruits, lemons, and limes are excellent sources of vitamin C. Other great sources include strawberries, kiwi, bell peppers, broccoli, kale, and even potatoes. While vitamin C deficiency is relatively rare in developed countries, it can still occur, especially in individuals who have a poor diet, smoke, or have certain medical conditions. Symptoms of vitamin C deficiency also known as scurvy, include fatigue, weakness, joint pain, bleeding gums, and slow wound healing. The recommended daily intake of vitamin C varies depending on age and gender, but most adults need around 75 to 90 milligrams per day. However, if you're feeling under the weather or exposed to stress, increasing your vitamin C intake might be beneficial. Chapter 5 Vitamin D The Sunshine Vitamin Last but not least, let's talk about a vitamin that's often called the sunshine vitamin, vitamin D. Vitamin D is unique because your body can actually produce it on its own when your skin is exposed to sunlight. However, many factors can affect vitamin D production, including the time of day, season, latitude, skin pigmentation, and the use of sunscreen. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in calcium absorption, which is essential for strong bones and teeth. It also supports immune function, muscle function, and cell growth. In recent years, vitamin D deficiency has become increasingly common worldwide, and it's been linked to a wide range of health problems. So, what happens when you're not getting enough vitamin D? Well, vitamin D deficiency can lead to weak bones, bone pain, muscle weakness, fatigue, and an increased risk of fractures. In children, severe vitamin D deficiency can cause rickets, a condition that affects bone development. While sunlight is the best source of vitamin D, it's not always possible or safe to get enough sun exposure, especially during certain times of the year or if you have fair skin. Fortunately, you can also get vitamin D from certain foods including fatty fish like salmon, tuna, and mackerel, egg yolks, and fortified foods like milk, orange juice, and cereals. If you're concerned about your vitamin D levels, talk to your doctor about getting a blood test. They can determine if you need to supplement with vitamin D to ensure you're getting enough of this essential nutrient. So there you have it. Those are the top five nutrients you absolutely need to be aware of for a healthier, more vibrant you. Remember, taking care of your body isn't just about looking good, it's about feeling your absolute best from the inside out. If you like this, I'll do part two with five more crucial nutrients to watch out for. Now I want a rating from zero to 10. What score would you give this video? If it's 10, I'll make more like this and do part two. Also, comment which city you're from. I'm from Nigeria. Which part of the world are you from? Don't forget to like this video, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to Body Fit Flicks for more on health through natural remedies and body exercises. Does coffee hinder nutrient absorption or does coffee help? There are 13 coffee facts you should know. In that video, you'll find lots of important info whether you drink coffee or not. It'll be useful for your health. Take care. See you next time.